Hey guys, Unknown IT here to show you a quick video on iOS jailbreak tweaks and apps. So, to start off the video, we're going to go ahead and start with um, Activator. It's a very common tweak within Cydia, and it's quite useful actually. Um, to get this this tweak, you're going to have to add, or at least I have added, the rpetrich repo. It is um, r-p-e-t-r-i dot c-h slash repo, and these will be added in the description, so you'll be able to find it there. Um, Activator is in beta, so you will be you will be getting um, updates from Cydia um, to update Activator. So, and I haven't found any bugs with it lately. There is a few every here and there. Um, I find that um, some of the um, quick shortcuts that I've added have gone away, but I just simply just go back and add them. But um, to show you Activator, um, it's very simple to use. A lot of useful um, shortcuts that you can use with it. Um, in, in this case, you can have in this case for anywhere um, let's say we set uh, the double press to change it to any one of these options and you get quite a few actually actually I could say a lot um, I find it useful in this case for when I'm on my runs um, I use the volume buttons I do an up short hold and it changes to the next track and a down short hold um, to change to the previous track um, and I find that very useful instead of having to um, hit the home button and uh, change the song manually or with the lock screen. Um, so that's Activator. The next one's going to go ahead and be Barrel. Barrel is again another um, jailbreak tweak within Cydia, and you do have to pay for it, unfortunately, but it is a very useful, well, actually, I can't say useful, but fun tweak. Um, there it is right there. You will be paying $2.99 for the app. And to show you a quick one that I actually already have um, here is you can see in here how Barrel moves the icons just like that. And to access Barrel, um, here's the different, you can have all your different modes. A really cool one I want to say is Snake. Snake is very, very, very cool. And you can see here how it moves the apps in a snake motion. Very cool. Something to have different from everybody. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to uh, right here, stairs down left. But as you can see, you can scroll through here and see all the different modes and play around and see which one you like best. But uh, that is Barrel for you, and it's pretty cool. The next one is Date Carrier. As of right now, I do not have Date Carrier showing um, in the status bar due to Zeppelin showing, in this case, Halo. Um, but what I have noticed is in within Cydia, it changes the top there, so now you see that it is January 2nd. And um, it's very useful in this case if you're wanting to always know the date real quick without having to, you know, go to your calendar and all that. Or It's very cool. Um, and it's free. So the next one is Emphasize. Emphasize is actually pretty cool. I like it because of the fact that I like to change, you know, the way iOS is for me. In this case, you can change colors. Um, right now I have it default as to orange. So, as you can see here where it says settings, it is in orange. When I change stuff like this, you can see that instead it goes to orange. And I think it's actually pretty cool. You can change colors for different apps, or you can set it as a default for every single app. Sometimes it doesn't show for all of them, but for some it does. The next one is Flip Control Center. Now, I find this very useful in this case. Um, I get to change the different icons that I, down, that I have down here for Flip Control Center. So, you know, you have your standard ones that are up top, and you have your standard ones that are down bottom. And as you can see, I have changed them. So, in this case, my first one is Respring. The second one is Nike Running, uh, for I can quickly launch my running app. Wi-Fi, Do Not Disturb, and Rotation. And if you swipe, you get to go to your different ones all along there. And then down here at the bottom, you have your flashlight, your calculator, your camera, and in this case I have, which I will be showing later on in the video, is Clean Master and Music Box, which I also will be showing later in the video. And I find this very useful because I get to change my icons to what I want. And you can change them within Flip Control Center. You know, you have your top shelf and your bottom shelf. Here's all your active switches, and you can easily move them around just like that. And it's very useful. You can drag down the ones that you don't want in there. In this case, just like that. And you can add the ones for some pressed from the lock screen. So if you were to tap on, let's say, um, running. So when you're in the lock screen and you bring up your flip control center, 
running is um, grayed out so you cannot click on that and it will not open let's go ahead and go back into this um, so that is suppressed from the lock screen and switches per page so you can have five four so let's say we went to a three so you can have your three favorite ones up there if you wanted it to be that way or you can have it unpaged so in this case you can just scroll along it and they're unpaged I personally like just having the ones that I use um, quite often but it's personal preference and bottom shelf is basically the same way you know you just drag and however you want it all right, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one, which is Flip Launch. Flip Launch is actually an, an add-on to Flip Control Center. So with Flip Launch, you're able to pick the ones that you want to be within Flip Control Center. So in this case, I have Clean Master, I have Music Box, and I have Running. And you can pick whichever ones you want, and these are all the available apps or the ones that you add. So once you add those, or once you click on the ones that you want, from what that you want from flip launch you can go to flip control center and they will be within here in this case there is music box um, there's running and then for the bottom shelf I have clean master so that is flip control fl uh, sorry that is flip launch the next one I find is very useful because I actually did have this happen to me one time and my I had to restore my phone but it is called open backup so open backup basically it, um, backs up not just your tweaks, but anything that you've added with Insidia as far as preferences. Um, so all you do is hit backup, and they will be backed up. In this case, it says here var mobile library preferences. If you know you happen to navigate your root of your phone, and so when you back up your phone in iTunes, this will also be backed up within the iTunes backup. So if you were needing to restore your phone, you can restore it, re-jailbreak, add open backup within Cydia, and go ahead and hit the restore button and it will restore um, your tweaks and it will restore uh, the majority of your preferences. Sometimes it doesn't. So that is open backup. Next one is record my screen, which is the um, app that I'm using to record this video. Um, record, um, record my screen is actually pretty useful. You have all your different settings in here, your activation methods. In this case, um, within it has the activation methods within Activator. And in this case, I have it to hold left um, on the status bar, which activates my recording. Pretty useful, in this case, for making videos just like this. So um, that is uh, record my screen. All right, and the last one, or one of the last ones that I'm going to be doing is Zeppelin. Zeppelin is a very um, common tweak or, yeah, tweak in Cydia, and it is very cool. In this case, in my status bar, I do have it displaying as Halo, and you can add add-ons from Cydia. Um, Zeppelin is actually very cool. You don't need to add a, a repo in order to get this one. But in this case, you have your themes, and if I wanted to disable it, I can, but enable is just like that. But you have all your different themes here. These are actually uh, ones that I've added on this case. This one's a... Uh, a standard one that comes with it but uh, I did add quite a bit so it's all per personal preference on what you want and in this case I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to Halo if I can find it oh there it is but yeah it's very cool and I've actually I will uh, be posting a video later on how to make your own um, you will be needing Photoshop and a few others which I'll explain in the video okay that is Zeppelin the next one is Flex. Flex is actually pretty cool. Um, and I, it might not be useful for everybody, but in this case, I find it useful. So Flex is in beta, and you do need to add a repo source, which I will add in the description, and I will show you now. So if you go to Manage and you go to your sources, you will be needing to add the Delta um, repo. It's uh, getdelta.co. So when you go here and edit, add... You know, you type in your get delta.co and you go ahead and add the source. So within Delta, you're going to want to add the Flex to beta. So to show you Flex, let's see, Flex. Okay, so the ones that I do have, and they're called patches, is they're actually not displaying, but you get to add patches for all or the majority of your apps. So in this case, if I wanted to add, you also actually have do have this uh, section here called cloud um, and you do I usually go to the popular section but in this case you know you can add um, five icon dock 
remove sponsored apps from Facebook, um, block city apps from opening an app store. Um, so you can add quite a bit of useful things. I've added uh, Twitter to have um, unlimited uh, characters. Um, but once you find um, a patch that you want to do, you're going to go ahead and go here and you're going to hit this cloud up here. So once you do that, it says patch downloaded and you're going to go ahead and go to this section right here and you're going to see this little check mark right here. Once you click that check mark, that patch is enabled and some of them, depending on what patch you use, you do have to respring um, and then they will be enabled. But pretty cool. It's useful at times, depending on what you want to use it for. You also can make your own. Um, I will make a video on that one later because it is a bit complicated, but um, that is Flex. The next one is Clean Master. Clean Master is a very useful app. I use it in this case if my phone is getting hot or if I do just want to clean up a little bit of stuff or if I want to release some RAM. It's pretty useful. Um, you will find it in Cydia. Just go ahead and type in, in the search Clean Master. So to show you Clean Master, here it is. Right there is the app. Like I showed you earlier in the Flip Control Center, I did add it down here at the bottom as a quick launch to show you from there. Clean Master. You're going to go ahead and clean. And once it goes through its cleaning process, it is going to delete everything. This is standard. You're just going to hit done. Um, nothing to worry about. But once it goes through its process, once it finishes there, it's going to clean up everything right away. It doesn't take long at all. And once that is done, it's going to come up with a little thing here saying how much you've um, released. And you're going to hit done. And the next one that I do is memory boost. So it's going to go ahead and calculate all the things that is going through. I tell you how much you've used and you're going to go ahead and hit the orange button to fix that. And now it will tell you how much you've released. In this case I released 249 megabytes. Pretty cool. It makes my phone a lot faster sometimes. And so that is Clean Master. The next one I'm going to show you is Unlim Tones. If you're into changing ringtones or having um, personal and ringtones, it's pretty cool. A limb tones is you do not need to add a repo for this app, and you can find it with Insidia. So on limb tones, here it is. You know you can add just certain things. It does have um, add-ons there or banners or whatever, and you can with the Flex uh, app you can disable uh, those things. But you can find top ringtones, you know, and you can find certain things. You can even search. So in this case, if I wanted, uh, let's say, Xbox. Um, let's go with the Achievement Unlock. So you can hit to play it. And it plays, and you can also, I've already added the ringtone, but where it says delete ringtone, in this case for you guys, it would say add ringtone. And you can add the ringtone, and it'll be in the actual settings. So if you go to settings, and you go to sounds, you go down here and you can change uh, it'll be right here and you can change it to that one so that is unlimb tones and I have two more to go one is iFile. iFile is in I think it is in beta I'm not too sure exactly actually no it's not in beta but you do need to pay for it um, iFile is very cool for navigating your root of your phone you have all your different stuff here um, and if you're familiar with navigating this, it's very useful in some ways. Um, and like I said, you do have to pay for it. So if you have not paid for it, it will come up with this saying here, your iFile license. And to register, you can go ahead and hit later if you don't want to. But you are restricted from some things. In this case, this right here, it is um, restricted. Settings, if I wanted to do file viewers, or, or not sorry, file viewers, um, file managers. And if you wanted song titles to be on, you cannot due to it not being registered. So that is iFile, and the last one I'm going to show you is Music Box, which is this app icon right here. Um, again, it is not; it does not need a repo, and it is within Cydia. So, to show you, again, I have it from the Flips Control Center, and it is a little shortcut here. Music Box is actually pretty cool. Um, the downfall to it, and I will be posting a video on later if they do have an update for it, which is Muse uh, Music. This one you cannot import to your um, iTunes library or to your music library, but you do have this, you know, simple uh, just player here. And it is pretty cool. 
Um, I find it useful for downloading songs real quick and listening to them without having to do through iTunes or through YouTube and all that. It's pretty cool. Um, in this case, let's say we wanted a song by Dead Mouse. We search Dead Mouse. Go ahead and wait for that to search. And let's say we wanted this one here. So we can preview the song, or we can download the song. If you want to preview the song, you can go ahead and preview it, and it will just pop out this right here. And once that is done, you can hit download. And from download, it will come down here to this more, and it will be in your queue. And it will be downloading right here. Once it is done, it will be sent to your My Music, and you can just go ahead and hit on the My Music library. So that it is that is it, guys, on the iOS 7 uh, jailbreak tweaks and apps within Cydia. Thank you for watching, and I'll be posting more.